Hi everyone, today I'm making garden next to you and I'm not a big fan of garden next to you. So this is the way I prepare mine to be able to enjoy it and I think everyone needs to try this recipe. Trust me, you'd really love it. Let's get started. So I'm going to put all my ingredients together and then cook it, okay? So we have the garden eggs here, that's the main ingredients. I'm going to put some bell pepper and some carrots, some tomatoes, some peppers turkey berries that's called kwen suswa or some people also call it kanto see then i add some carrots ginger and garlic okay now that carrot and bell pepper is going to change the taste of this garden next to you it's going to make it so flavorful it will make it taste so good now i'm going to just boil this and then once it becomes a bit soft i'm going to start grinding now this is the method i'm talking about instead of blending my stuff or my ingredients i'm going to rather grind everything so that it doesn't have any water content in it and also you get it natural do you understand and the tip here is that you don't have to grind it for it to be very smooth and fine leave some of the vegetables chunks in it so that when you're making the stew you'd really enjoy it when you're chewing it you become very chewy and stewy and that's how i want it you can decide to take the skin off the garden eggs if you don't want it bitter but with this method you wouldn't even taste that kind of bitterness in the stew do you understand it's going to taste so good and you will love it or instead of cooking the garden eggs fully like that you can just decide to cut it into two and take out the seeds from it this way you are sure that there are no worms or whatever animal that may be in the garden eggs and also the seeds will just be reduced in it if you don't like the seeds in the garden eggs okay now i'm just going to grind everything together and this is how it looks like you can see some of the chunks of the vegetables still in the stew and that's just how we want it to be now let's make our stew i'm going to add in some palm oil to my saucepan you can use vegetable oil because some people prefer that but palm oil is just perfect and then i'm going to add some mamoni or cured fish to this add in some onions i'm using two large onions for this and then i'm going to add some tolo beef to this the tolo beef is just going to make it so flavorful it's going to have this tolo beef taste in the stew and you really love it now you can transfer the garden eggs mix into the stew and then proceed to cook the stew with this method it doesn't take long to cook within 20 minutes your stew will be ready now i'm just going to give this a good mix and then cover it and let the stew cook for about 10 minutes before you add in the remaining ingredients as a seasoning and cool now for the seasoning i am going to be using just maggi cube and then a jawari spice the two of them that's all so i'm just going to add my jawari and then my maggi cube to this add it to taste okay so make sure it's up to your taste give this a good mix and then add in your smoked mackerel or whatever fish you want to add to the garden next to you you can decide not to add it at all then add in the eggs now this eggs is going to just change the taste of the garden next to you it's going to make it taste very stewy and flavorful you'd really like it let the eggs cook for five to ten minutes before you give it a good mix don't mix it once you put the eggs in it and you can now mix it and then cook the eggs properly okay now that's it garden next is very simple to make with this method 25 minutes maximum you are done cooking it okay now cover it let it simmer on low heat and then your garden egg stew is ready all you need to do now is serve it with anything that you like it can be rice plantain and pc whatever it is that you like and enjoy okay i hope you guys try this recipe when you do let me know how it goes and don't forget to subscribe to my channel like my videos share my videos and see you in my next video bye